Hello, everyone. This is Akata Vester. Thank you for joining me. As you can see from the title of this uh, video, the questions, why self-love is so hard? And I would like to answer these questions connecting with the Libra, Aries, nodal axis since 17th of July last year. And this axis of North Node, South Node will stay in these two signs until 11th of January 2025. And as we can see, we have another portal, 111. I would like to bring us to go into a deeper, higher understanding of the importance of this nodal axis. So in last year, since 19, the 17th of January, the nodal axis entered Aries as North Node and South Node in Libra. And as a consequence, we have the major eclipses in these two signs. It started on the 14th of October, we have our Libra solar eclipse and one that just passed on the 25th of March in Libra as a lunar eclipse that I interpreted as the beginning of a certain progress in last year and a closing of a cycle this year. Then we will have, on the 8th of April, a very important, very potent, but in a good way, on the 8th of April, a Aries solar eclipse. And to close this cycle, one final solar eclipse in Libra, during the Libra season. On the 2nd of October. Before the nodal axis entered into the Virgo and Pisces signs. Why it is so important of this nodal axis? First, we have to look at what Aries and Libra represent. Aries is the first sign in our zodiac chart. He is that fiery, fire, Mars actions, assertiveness of who I am, what I want to do my desire, my actions, and my self-identity as I am in the first sign. While Libra, his opposite in the second, in the seventh house, is about one-to-one -one relationship, how we relate with the others, how we build um, our connections. And Libra is an air sign and she is communicative, trying to be diplomatic, bringing everyone on board, try to make the atmosphere in a harmonious way. And she's ruled by Venus. So it's trying to do all this through the energy of love, of communication. As we entered this new paradigm, that new shift with Pluto enter Aquarius. We are leaving behind a more structural 
controlling, stabilizing energy of Capricorn. Meanwhile, in Aries, in Aquarius, we are talking about, about inventions, mass consciousness, technology, and how to build up something that has never been here before, the shift of a paradigm. But then again, we can never do that without really understanding who we are as an individual and our role, what we represent in a group. And so we have not known, it. sorry, I go back a little bit. With the Libra solar eclipse in last year, in October, I consider it as an um, opening of a cycle that the searching of who we are, who I am, my self-identity in relation to the next person in a group, how I feel because of the self note, how do I evaluate? my usual interactions with the others, does it serve me any longer? Does my normal way of dealing is actually what I desire? And so it opened up this window this portal of self-searching of our self-identity within a context of relationship. And the one on the 25th of March, which I uh, relate as a closing of a cycle, after this six months period, during our searching of our self-identity, what have we understood? What is our consideration now, our evaluation now of how we should treat the others, how we should um, um, build up a kind of beneficial boundaries that as Libra is tends to overgiving and this closing cycle is helping us to see when and where to give and when and where not to over giving to a point that a Libra may feel in exhaustion and understanding even in a relationship situations, either that is a marriage, a lovers, a colleagues in business, in a bigger sense in cultures and in our society, that what is really represent the most beneficial way. What is the greatest good for me as a self individuals to relate with the others? Then we will have a very potent solar eclipse in areas on the 8th of April. This video is going out on the 4th and and so after this closing we are entering a new beginning with this area's solar eclipse 
And all these eclipses I have talked about in my old videos. I will leave a link below and I will I don't want to go into too much details. But then we are going into one last eclipse in Libra, a solar eclipse on the 2nd of October. Before the axis change houses into Virgo and Pisces from 11th of January. And so with this opening, and then with one last one, I think the invitation is, while we are opening a new cycle, a new door, a new portal, as much as an Aries would like to be assertive, like to be just jump on that cliff and, and do what is in our mind. And fortunately, we have Mercury retrograde that actually hold us back a little bit and be more introspective, be more thoughtful and a better planning. Wait wait because what we first perceive as an idea might not be so in one month and and with that we start our new cycle in a more harmonious less assertive way that bring us through these six months into October with the Libra solar eclipse that where we make our final evaluation. And how does that relate to my questions at the beginning? Because I think in our society, in our cultural educations that through the ages both men and women we are being taught to self-sacrifice our identity to do what the masses are doing and we are into this education system where in most cases you don't even exist you are just part of the system instead of being creatives and inventives and bringing in what the gift that a child half when they when they were born we are being asked to don't think study memorize and reproduce it outward what we have learned what we have what what is written in a book and that lit many boxes Regardless what your role in a, in, in a society that we become part of the workers in, a, in, 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 in these systems. Doesn't matter what career, what jobs that you are doing. At the end of the day, we are all workers. And we are taught to study hard work hard so we can buy a home set up our families get our pensions and then we die i don't know i myself was part of this system and fully convinced that it's a good system to work 
and until year 2020 that it started this spiritual awakening for me if i have to use myself as, a, as an example of of this um access that change that changes in libra and aries july little bit before july i have bought my ticket to go to north america and during this solar eclipse uh, seasons in Libra last year in October I was in America in Sedona and I have gone through these six months of searching regardless how where I have been but behind the scenes that I have gone through a lot of self-understanding self-searching a lot of spiritual initiations and receive wisdoms and now i find myself uh, in february back to italy and to close a cycle and I wouldn't be able to do that. What I am doing in the last month or so without going through my experience in America. I may be able to go through the process, but I most certainly believe that if I didn't leave Italy and go right into the that closing of a cycle in my personal life, I may not be able to voice my truth as I have done here and now. I might play these situations as a victim as a failure in my personal life instead of seeing it as how I see it today is all experience is a lesson we can be a victim of the situation but we don't have to play victim hood in a situation Our truth is sacred. If we don't speak our truth, we are the one responsible for not voicing it out. And this reflects exactly of self-identification that knowing who I am because if you don't know who you are, you don't accept the whole of who you are. How can you love yourself? With all the flaws and we are not perfect. None of us is being asked to be perfect. And to love every little flaws in us, or big flaws, whatever. But when we know who we are, we are ready to click on this journey of self-improvement, of self-enlightenment. And this access is so important because we cannot walk into a new paradigm without knowing ourselves. When we still follow the masses of people, 
that we don't know where we stand. Knowing this is a lonely journey that we go against many people around, him, around us, our family, our friends, and the old world falls away, you fall away. And you, we are not equipped to stand firm of what we believe, what we understand in us without knowing who we are. And in this process of separations from our own world, we learn and I learned to love myself, to accept the whole in me, regardless how difficult in life is, the uncertainties, the future that we cannot foresee, and that is the power of finding yourself. And I hope that each of you that is listening, watching this video is in that process of understanding, of finding who you are. And I truly, truly hope that at the end of this tunnel, of this process, we get to love the person that is in us. When the axis changes to Pisces in Vir and Virgo next year, that will bring us further into the new Aquarian age. The significance of the nodal axis in Aries and, and in Libra from who am I versus who am I with the others will shift to Virgo and Pisces. What I am and able to do with the informations, new informations, new technologies that will come up with this new Aquarian age. And as, as Virgo, and how I can use that for the greatest, greatest good in service in Pisces from a spiritual perspectives. And as I said before, we cannot do that until we know who we are. And I truly hope you are blasted in this process and in this journey. Now it comes to the second part. A goodbye from me to you. It's not a full, complete goodbye. As I am an astrologer, I treasure so much of this service that I can give to my surroundings, to my friends, to my clients. It is something that I cannot close. But then again, even while doing that, I can change the way of doing it. I have this video out on the 4th of April on purpose. Because last year, on the 4th of April, 
I was officially certified as a quantum soul guidance practitioner in our God Astrology Group. And since then, I have opened up my ways of communications in social media, in YouTube, with my writings, and uh, after one year, and especially after the last six months of self-searching, I feel that I am so blessed because of my connection with my higher self with my soul, with the divine, with ascended masters, that I follow very much the messages that I receive. I won't say day to day, but there is some period that I receive messages and I, I and I just follow it. Just when I bought my tickets to Canada and only after I paid for it and this message was telling me you are not coming back to Italy get ready for a journey and that's how it became and last I think beginning of January this year when I received this mess I wasn't coming back to Italy so quick I was thinking at the end of 2024. Then one night I received this message to go back to Italy. To close this cycle in your personal life. The next day I bought a ticket. And I'm back to, it to Italy. Trusting those synchronicities, those messages that I receive. And I must say, I must say, as hard as it is, that how tiring, how painful the process is, I actually get what I was received in that dream. How interesting, huh? when you trust. And during these few months, these two months, I finally closed one important cycle in my life. And while we are walking toward April with the solar eclipse, I'm certain something new is opening and I already know what that something new is. That's why this goodbye that Akata is a hermit at the end of the day. I love study. I love reading. And I had been living like a hermit for two years before I came out in social media last year. And this was when I received the most of my initiations in exoteric sense and preparing me for today's world. The messages that I received for this new future is to go back into this semi-hermit mood and back to study and most importantly in writing. And I cannot do that if I keep on being involved in social media as I had as I have been in the last year. Even though I have changed already 
my 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 modality and i think it need a even bigger changes that i will almost offline without worrying that i don't have a post every day in facebook or in instagram i don't need to if there's something that i would like to share i can share it one every what in a week in a month in a two month whatever and most importantly as i know who i am accepting that i can be it's a sense of no one without fearing that people may forget about me who is a cutter after two weeks that she doesn't put any post and that is self-identity that my fulfillment is not from outward my fulfillment is from within knowing that if i have to go to retreat for three months for six months that is a bigger picture behind it i don't need to know what it is today i just need to walk through it doing my diligence as i have done in my six months journey in america without knowing how i'm going to finance the whole trip where i will go and who i will meet and how i am going to 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 get myself out if i have problems if my cars get hit or whatever we don't need to have every answer we just need to trust to surrender and and to know that when we know we are doing for in alignment with our self purpose it is okay everything will be looked after and so to close it down i would say that i am going retreat my service as an astrologer is continued for people to contact me even from facebook through messenger or through my website becoming lotus.org and while i will be studying writing more self searching and um i cannot say how much i love you guys and to close i would like to share this image with you um a message that i just wrote today <sighs> the fool follows his dream to the unseen the unknown fully realize that he can only be the dreamer with total surrender be water 
as water flows from the river to the ocean without resistance. Be fearless as fear is your human ego, a self-entrapment. Be wise as wisdom is within your divine blueprint. Your gift in this life embodiment. Be courageous as perseverance of a lotus to sprout under the mud. From my heart to yours, I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you.